Now, most everybody has at least a couple coffee cups in their house. Some of them, though, can be worth a small fortune. Today, we're going to look at the top 20 most valuable coffee mugs that you may own right now. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at coffee mugs. Most everybody I know has at least a couple coffee mugs in their house, even if they don't drink coffee. You can fill it with water, you can fill it with anything you want, so everybody has a use for a coffee mug. Easy to hold, the whole works. So today we are going to look at the top 20 most valuable coffee mugs that you actually may own. Now, one of the hottest types climbing in coffee mugs right now are tied to early restaurants in big restaurant chains. Now, this one here, I do believe, is tied to the first or one of the very first White Castle restaurants. And in this case, it can easily be identified by the maker that's stamped on the bottom. Now, this one sold for $5,700, 26 bids. Now, the ones that seem to go the most in many cases are ones that were known or well-known back in the day in the 30s and 40s that haven't existed in a very long time. Now, this is Ronnie's Donut Shop in Orlando, Florida. It has a picture of a donut in the middle. It says the name and the location, $456 with 43 bids. Here's another one, Mellow Cream Superior Donuts. Now, some of these are from chains, so there may not be a specific location. It may have just been used in any store, any restaurant that they had at the time. $374 in 21 bids. Now, Piggly Wiggly is well collected no matter what. This is just a primo example of a Piggly Wiggly grocery store advertising coffee mug. Now, it may have been part of a promotion where you bought so much of this or you saved up stamps from the store. That is a, a feature what they did sometimes you could even get these from gas stations now this is what's called a d handle and that's the one that's most popular it literally looks like a d in shape and design and those are the ones that pretty much dictate the era the age as well here's another one this is bun and burger hamburgers now there's a ton of these sorts suds was another name i see in a lot of these as well $142.49. Now, you may have these sitting around the house and not even know it. These were cheapo at the time. You could have just been given one. People would take them home without asking, I'm sure, at some point. They were sold. Maybe the restaurant closed down and they offered them. Most of these were just designed to use in the store and they were broken, ship damaged. So when they show up in excellent condition, they can garner some primo prices. And yet another one, Pretty's Grill. There are people that just collect restaurant wear just like this. There are mug collectors that only collect mugs and there's walls and walls of mugs in their house. And yet another one, JB's Big Boy. Now, Big Boy had many different names. Elias, Big Boy, Frisius. It just depends on where you lived and the franchise ship, I would imagine, that owned it. But here's a perfect example of one of their promotional items. Probably had to eat so much or have a card punched or something, but $129.50, 15 bids. And again, these could just be sitting in your cabinet uh, in the basement somewhere, and you may not even realize that there's a value to them. Anywhere you would see a coffee shop, you could run into advertising coffee mugs, coffee cups like this one here from QP Hotels. Probably an unlicensed use of QP, but it's still a very nice mug. Now, here's the burger family. It's A&W Root Beer. It's an advertising tie-in as well. Now, some of these are stackable. That means there is a ring around the bottom that's sunken in farther, so you can stack these up in a cabinet or on a shelf or in the restaurant shelving so that you can stack up clean ones without taking up a ton of space. Those came out a little later, so you can somewhat tell on the date on some of these sorts. Now, just like today where restaurant chains use comic book or movie related items to advertise their wares, their store, here's a perfect example of that from Dairy Queen. Now, many of these restaurants would issue sets. There may be four, six, eight mugs that would go along with this series. Maybe they're all Dennis the Menace, maybe they're all just comic uh, characters in general. $125, 50 bids on this one here. Now, restaurant wear does not have to be Fire King or any of that sort. This is for Mickey Mantle's Country Cooking Restaurant. 
restaurant wear is a china line as well now this is from a decently known china company that was known for making restaurant wear itself again they may have been sold in the gift shop so you could have bought these just like you would say at cracker barrel or one of those types of stores 130 bucks for this one year another thing to consider they don't have to be advertising they could just be part of a set that's well collected now these are from Sweden, so that is part of the interest in these. It has the pattern name, the manufacturer, and the country of origin. And this is mid-century, 50s, 60s, 70s in that era. It doesn't look like anything fancy. It's the marking, the maker on the bottom that makes these two here worth 825 bucks. Now even some modern day coffee mugs can sell for some phenomenal money. This is a Ray Dunn. And if you look at the bottom of this, it really doesn't look like it would be that fancy. Dishwasher safe, microwave safe, made in China. But it has the name Ray Dunn on it, a designer. It has a crown on it. This is the crown lines. There are many that have sold for decent money. So on average, they do sell for a few hundred dollars each one of these. But they look just normal plain other than the crown and the name on the bottom. Now here are two from the Atomic Era, the 1950s and 60s. This is Franciscan wear, and these are the starburst pattern. These are very reminiscent of uh, Salem's North Star pattern, which again are atomic like this with similar colors. Some of the dishes and bowls from this set could be intermingled with other sets as well. So these are highly collected. The pattern alone is why everybody wants these. It's fabulous, it's atomic era, mid-mod century without a doubt. These two mugs sold for over $300. On average, a single mug can easily get you $200. Now coffee mugs with characters do not necessarily have to be tied to a restaurant at all. Snoopy is one example that was massively produced on coffee mugs. Some of them are much rarer than other ones. They're still milk glass. This one's Anchor Hocking, but you can find them from Fire King and other brands as well. This is one of the most sought after ones with Snoopy on it. This is the Red Baron on this one here. On the other side, it has Curse You Red Baron. It's part of the language, I guess, is why this one's collected it because it wouldn't be something you would see in modern age of Snoopy actually saying in a comic strip. Another thing to think about is there are variations on some of these. So this is the same mug, but with a different color pattern. Sometimes they go for more. Sometimes it's just the same price. Someone just wants the mug itself. There are many variations of other coffee mugs as well. This may be part of a massive set of Snoopy ones. I've seen them for Gunsmoke and all sorts of other TV shows as well. Now here's a Fire King example of Snoopy. As I said, they can be found for all sorts of different things. This is the Apollo Moon Landing tie-in I would gather with this one here. This coffee mug sold for $233.50. If you look at the handle again, most all of these are the D-shaped handle. Now this one here is easily slipped by by many people. They may not realize what this actually is. It just says T on the actual coffee mug itself. But on the bottom, it's actually marked for Houston Foods, which is a uh, restaurant tie-in. And this as well is tied to a restaurant, but it's totally different. This is something, again, that you could have probably purchased out in their lobby or in a gift shop kind of again like cracker barrel these are from the 80s so they're not even super super old it is something you could still have laying around your house you may have worked at the restaurant you may have worked at the distribution company that delivered these sorts of things along with their food delivery so these are highly collectible right now anything tied to restaurants and dining seem to be flying off the hook now there are some more expensive designer brands some of these would have come from department stores like this lennox village coffee mug here this is from 1992 so it's not even that old it's in excellent condition it does look like it has not been used still has the handcrafted in taiwan uh, label on the bottom it's a fancy one it's made to look like a cafe from the outside so this one does sell for decent money 220 dollars now just like many of the other ones the company that made it and their location can really add to the value here this honestly doesn't look like anything super super fancy 
but it is nicely marked on the bottom. It is a Finland made product by Arabia. Very nice one here. It sold for over $200 with 18 bids. Now here's a very interesting one. This is Johnny Carson from The Tonight Show. It's an advertising piece. You probably had to get it somewhere uh, at the actual building the show was filmed and would be my guess. This one's a very unique one here. It sold for $185. Here's another TV show related one, The Pat Sajak Show. Wasn't on very long. I believe this is a heat cup. So when it heats up, you can see the actual wording much better than you can now. When these are used a bunch, it actually fades from some of the ones I've seen. And it doesn't work as well either. But still, $155 for this one here. Now, some have tie-ins. This is tied in to the musical Rent. This is what inspired the musical from what I understand. This is Life Cafe. This is from New York City. It's not super, super old. It doesn't look like much. You could find it anywhere because these were sold. You could have gotten one there just like many other places and have one in many different states. You don't just have to live in New York City to see this type of thing. There are many other places just like this that you could run into stuff like this. You can find coffee mugs for pretty much any place that served hot liquid. Now, in the mid-60s, they made a ton of comical ones, kind of tied in with the hippie age and the whole works. This is a smiley face. Uh, this one is a fire king as well, milk glass. This is similar to this one here, which has the smiley face on it as well. This is the most popular version of this one for $152. This, again, is fire king. It's white milk glass. This one will always get you decent money if it's the fire king version. You want the fire king version. There are many other versions from other companies like Glass Bake, Anchor Hawking, but the fire king one seems to be the one that sells for the most money, even if the design is the same. Now, this is a stackable orange and white one here with the Florida Lees on it. It is a Fire King piece. Uh, you don't see many Fire King pieces in this orange color here. Looks to be in decent condition. $132 for this single coffee mug. Now, just like many of the other ones, the name, the actual producer of the mug itself can be the only reason it's worth something. This is by Gucci. This is one that will show up. This is much more common than you would think because it's from the 80s. This can be missed because of the design and the construction of it. It's not a typical, uh, I guess, coffee mug you would see from Gucci, but they still sell in the $100 range very easily. Now, there are some higher-end coffee mugs that sell for some phenomenal money, but the average person out there is not going to run into them. Now, Death Wish coffee mugs do show up, but the valuable ones, the scarce ones, the rare ones that are worth thousands of dollars, the average person will not have laying around their house. Just like Hermes or any of the other designer brands, they're just not commonly found in your cabinet. In all honesty, it's the everyday used coffee mugs that you run into far more often than anything else, and they can make you some phenomenal money as we've shown you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Introducing a revolutionary new kind of coffee, new epic coffee with flavor that goes beyond instant, beyond freeze-dried, even beyond perked coffee. Wow, this cup of coffee I ever tasted. New epic coffee, not just a new brand, a new kind of coffee. Epic is made with a special flavor process. Ordinary percolating lets flavor escape in the form of aroma, but epic special process is different. It captures that aroma and turns it back into flavor. You get chunks of coffee that burst into flavor the moment you add hot water. Fantastic. Like she said, the best coffee I ever tasted. 
epic. Coffee with flavor that goes beyond instant, beyond freeze-dried, even beyond perked. New epic coffee.